Hey guys and what's going on and today I am going to be doing with you an insane uh, 11k squad builder Actually no it costs slightly less than 11k so it's between 10 and 11 depending on how much you pay for the players I played about an average amount so it gives me an idea of how much this would, pay, uh, which would cost uh, It's a team which is almost like a skeleton, you can use it, it is an amazing team, it is fun, it has pace all over the place uh, That rhymed Anyway, it also has uh, strength where it is needed, especially in the midfield, and yeah, so I hope you enjoy this, pack of, uh, this squad builder. If you do want some more squad builders, leave a like, leave uh, a comment in the description saying I want some more of this, and I will get to it. But first up, in our goalkeeper position, oh yeah, did I, I might have mentioned, it is a Barclays Premier League squad builder, and our keeper is going to be, will load, Robert Green. Now, a lot of people probably might disagree with me with this. There might be a lot of speculation, of course, after what happened during the World Cup. But the simple reason why he is in the squad is because he has uh, saved the most shots in the Premier League this season. Now, that could be because his t uh, the defence isn't working very well together. Or it could actually mean that he's actually playing quite well. I mean, he did make an amazing save against George Boyd against when it was Burnley uh, on Sunday, last Sunday. So... You don't know, he's, he's been playing a lot, he's been a lot under the limelight, for, especially for the last few years, and he's really has focus and played really well this season. I'm not going to lie, he has a, he's had a really good season so far. Now, okay, so he's my keeper, and I'm going straight into my first centre-back position, and I'll add them all in at once. And my first centre-back is going to be, as soon as this loads, Alderweel. Now, he is quite an odd choice, I know, but to be fair, Southampton are having a really good run at the moment. Actually, no, they're not. They've lost a couple of games, but they were having a really good run. Uh, he's uh, Belgium, which is always good, and he is from a football game Madrid, which were a great side. But the main thing I've added him in is his shooting is very nice. He's got that 58 shooting, and he's got some pretty strong physical. His pace could be better. I could have gone for Corker, but I just prefer to go for Belgium because I wanted some more links with some later players, which you will see very shortly. So yeah, he's my first centre back. Then my centre, my second centre back, it had to be Jagielka, simply because of a great, amazing goal he scored, and he has got some good physical, and I love playing with him in FIFA 14. So I love playing with his FIFA 15 card as well. And my final one is Kirikas, which is probably uh, most people's first choice, pacey, cheap Barclays Premier League the defender. He literally has the pace of a fullback, yet plays amazingly as a centre back. I mean, he's got a good. He's got even. He's got even a great shot, which sixty-five shot, which isn't bad at all. He's got some good physical stats going, and also got some good dribbling here and there. So if you just want to power your way through a team, if you can, then he is definitely the defender for you. And then we're going to move straight on to our midfield. We're going to come in with our right mid. Now our right mid probably gave a bit of spoiler by having Alderweireld, the Belgian, in centre back in that position. It is going to be none other than Morales, Morales who is having the season. Of his life at the moment, he is scoring so many f amazing goals. I mean, he, one of his goals was in the goal of the uh, goal of the month. If he didn't see against Tottenham, he basically beats two players and then just curls it into the top corner against Lloris. Absolutely great player. Uh, he, I don't think he played that much during the World Cup, but when you got someone like Hazard and other players like that on the wings, who you got to come in contention with, he's probably going to have his game time definitely decreased. Now. I'm an idiot here and accidentally pressed the wrong button. Our centre uh, CMs are actually going to be CDMs. They're both CDMs, and the simple reason is for that is since your team has so much pace all, uh, all around the pitch, I have tried to turn two players which were hold up play in the middle and stay strong. And the best two I find were these two tanks here, Wanyama and Tiote. Both have 88 physical. Wanyama is literally, they're both, uh, Wanyama especially is the cheap Yaya Toure at the moment. And Teote is pretty much not that far behind him. Um, as you've probably seen, Wanyama's amazing goal, where that was also on the goal of the month from match of the day. If you haven't seen that, you want to check that out. He literally scored from about, it must be 40 yards. He, he just kicked, he, uh, the keeper made a mistake, terrible clearance, and he just booted it. And it went flying into the net. And as our left mid, we are also going to play a right mid, and you will know who he is. It is none other than Campbell, the Costa Rican, who was who had an amazing World Cup and 
It made a lot of player teams uh, want to hold on to him, especially Arsenal, as that's where he initially was until he was actually on loan to Olympiacos. Next, we go into our CAM. Now, our central attacking mid was mainly added for his pace, and it is no other, no one else than Atsu. He is from Everton at the moment, and look at that 92 pace. I mean, and 80 dribbling as well. He's just going to rip apart midfield. Uh, all defence, all midfielders, and even he can just run straight through with him. He's just a great player overall. And that the reason, main reason why I've added him is because you've got your wingers who can run down the wings, and you've also got someone who can keep up in the centre. Now, our next player is also his teammate, and that of Morales's. It is the most expensive player that I have bought, which cost about 3.2k when I did this video. It is no other than Lukaku. Now, Lukaku has... Pretty much one of the most solid striker stats in the whole game. If you want to make it cheaper, you could probably add in Welbeck. If you want to make it more expensive, you could add someone like Storage in. But look at the pace. 84 pace, 80 shooting, and 81 physical, and 75 dribbling. There's not much more you can ask for than a striker. He is brilliant for holding up play, as well as having the ball kicked over the top of him, so you can just chase onto it with that pace. Uh, he's, he's great at heading as well, because of his tall physical stature. I absolutely love playing with him, and he scores a ton of goals for me on this game. And our final center, uh, striker, as you probably saw, is no other than Pape Sisi, the man who has just come back from injury after having a terrible injury that's made him being downgraded from FIFA to FIFA and back to back. So he is finally uh, looked like he's made a foothold at 76 rated. I would be shocked if he doesn't get a team of the week after his performance against Chelsea, which was very bad for me because I'm a Chelsea fan, of course and him scoring both goals. He deserved both goals, don't get me wrong. Uh, I really like him as a player, but it would be nice if he got his two goals against a different team, mainly Man City. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So, uh, yeah, he his stats ain't particularly amazing, but he's just scored quite a lot of goals for you, and he's a great player who could reliable to take a shot and score. So, yeah, uh, it's a 65-rated squad. Uh, which, if you had, you had a bench on that, it'd probably get up to about an 80. It'd be between 79 to 81, and that would be a 5-star rated squad. Its chemistry is 100, with even without a manager, so you don't particularly need a manager at all. Uh, I absolutely love playing with this squad. It's really fun, and it is so easy to make interchanges between this. So you could put in, you could add anything you want into this. You could put Hazard in if you want to add Hazard for the Belgian links. You could add Aguero, you could add Dzeko, you could, it depends even if you haven't got that much money, you could add Welbeck instead of uh, Lukaku. Just to, uh, pretty much, you can put in anything you would like into the squad, and it looks perfect. BPL, for me, is the best squad to use, always to build your squad around. The simple reason that it just it just seems to win games, like the BBVA. You don't have to play that particularly good with a BPL squad. You can just be a lot sweatier than any other league and still score a ton of goals. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this squad builder video. If you did like it, please tell me that in the comments or leave a like. And then it will tell me that you want some more of these sort of stuff. I will do some more expensive ones if you do want more expensive ones. But for now, at the moment, I'm just trying to do ones. So if you're just starting up in FIFA like me not that long ago, you want a cheap squad that's going to win your games. This is the squad you want. Uh, yeah, so, if you didn't like it, just say in the comments that you would rather me do something else. But, it's quite fun to have something like a squad builder once in a while, so you guys can see what it all fits like together. If you do want to see some gameplay of this, do let me know as well in the comments. If you want to see me, say, just say, could you play a match with it, to see how it works. And you'll see, I'll just trim it down, you'll have a couple of highlights, which will only be a couple of minutes long, where you'll see some of the class that this team has to offer. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this, guys, and until next time.